Lemon, does that sound good? Yeah. I felt energy. All right, man. Yeah. I felt energy. All right, man. Yeah. I felt energy. All right, man. Yeah. I felt energy. Yeah. I came down. Yeah. You have no hair. All right, man. Yeah. <laughs> All right, man. Yeah. I felt energy. All right, man. Yeah. I felt energy. Yeah. Came down. Yeah. Came down. What up, what up, it's Garage Gym, homie, and today I'm talking to you about the difference between county jail and state prison. Is it worth it? Before we get into this here, please click the subscribe button. I got content coming out all the damn time for you, man, so click subscribe and let's get into this. Mm. God bless all you, man. I hope you're feeling amazing, living from the heart and staying out of your dang heads. Um, yeah, so I've been to both places. I've been to county jails in three states, uh, Texas, Michigan, and um, California. And I've been to uh, two different state penitentiaries in um, in California. And uh, one of them was a, um, a reception that I was at for a while. And then one of them was the main um, prison yard that I that I went to and did out the rest of my time there. Um, so the county jails and state prisons are different in the sense that, well, a lot of differences. County jails are run by the county and state prisons are run by the state. So county jails are run by uh, sheriff deputies and uh, state prisons are COs, which are uh, employed by the state. In, uh, in my case, the state of California. And county jail is where you go, where I go, where I went, where I, where I w used to go, uh, where um, you're either there fighting a case or you get sentenced there if it's less than a, up to a year. I'll say up to a year. Um, state prison is a place where you go if you have felonies, and uh, you get sentenced to more than a year, you can go to state prison for more than a year up to your, you know, life sentence. And um, there's huge differences. Obviously, it's better if you do not go to state prison, because that means you got sentenced to a, uh, a long time, love me long time. And uh, you don't want to go to state prison. However, when you're sentenced to state prison you cannot wait to get to state prison i'm going to tell you that right now when i went to la county jail and i got sentenced to prison it took about two months before they picked me up uh we requested to the judge that uh it's called forthwith where they speed up the process and they take you right away that's a BS thing. Everybody requests forthwith, <laughs> and uh, it doesn't pan out like that. You sit there in county jail, in L.A. County Jail, where I was at, waiting every day for them to call your name with the people who are going to prison, and you cannot wait to get out of there. The living conditions in um, prison versus county jail are just a world of difference uh prison is a way more com first of all the deputies in county jail a lot of them there's some cool deputies they can be cool they could be you know joke around they could be you know this or that but they're violent my first night that i was ever in la county jail i saw a deputy take a flashlight and they do what's called flashlight therapy and he tried to wake somebody up with a mag light that was huge and uh cracked his skull open and they, they call that flashlight therapy since then they've limited the size of those mag lights or the weight of them i forget because they were cracking too many skulls with them the deputies are wild and i'm going to tell you why in la county jail every single sheriff's deputy has to work in the jail I think for two years before they go on to the streets. It's the very first stop. They have to work in the jail. So these are a bunch of younger, a lot of them, sheriffs. Some of them stay there. Some of them are there, you know, or older guys or whatever. These are a lot of younger, big boys 
who freaking and women and, and they prove them they they go above and beyond to prove themselves they ain't no freaking punk homie and they do not mess around and they are extremely freaking aggressive and they'll they'll uh come in your in your uh in your cell they'll come in your dorm they'll scream uh, lockdown whatever everybody uh face down and they'll just toss up the freaking dorm they'll they'll go ham in there and um they're just uh i guess they're on edge they're very threatened there's a lot of gang members in la county jail and uh they they're not playing around very very commonly to the deputies disrespect you i've been threatened that they would punch me in the face things like that uh a lot of stuff they'll they'll violently grab you they'll i mean they're freaking ruthless in there they are nuts and uh I guess they got to be, man. I mean, they're dealing with some seriously violent criminals, and a lot of them are not sentenced yet, and everybody's on edge in there. On top of how the deputies treat you, the food is absolutely, I mean, edible would be, I guess, a generous word. You know, they got a different, the best day there is chicken patty day, as I recall, um, they have a day they, they called teriyaki they give you. We used to call it scariyaki. You don't know what the heck you're eating. I mean, the food there is absolutely terrible. At the lowest quality slop, you see it in the movies, the slop they put on the tray, and it's not a lot either. I'm in there with hunger pains because I'm withdrawing and stuff too. You're hungry as heck. Furthermore, when you go in there, the process to even get a cell or a bed is freaking insane. You might be on the floor for literally four, three, four days on cold concrete before you even get a bed. And it, it's at the point where you're happy to be. It's so miserable. It's so unbearable. In L.A. County Jail, you got to understand there's 20,000 inmates at any given time there. Between L.A. County Jail and the satellite jails, Wayside and all that, 20,000 inmates at least at any given time. So it's a, it's a freaking zoo. You might be going through processing for days before you get a bed, and it gets to the point where you're just happy to get a bed. You're, you're not even mad you're there anymore. You're just so happy you get a freaking bed. Because in my case, I'm withdrawing. I'm tired as heck. I've been running the streets. It's freaking, dude, it's savage. The living conditions, the beds are this thin. Uh, you might see Freeway Freddy, the freaking mice running around. You you might just, the, the violence and the living conditions, I can't even explain how uncomfortable it is. You You can get, you might sleep for days. And days on the floor on concrete with no blanket or anything. And you are on the lookout for a whole day for a toilet paper roll just so you could use for a little pillow. It's freaking, dude, it's nuts in there. Absolutely horrific, terrible, horrible living conditions. And I've spent a good amount of time in there. When I first came in there, man, I was there for six months. And what they do, man, is they freaking make it so miserable purposefully where they, let's say I got arrested and I got some freaking, uh, you know, uh, public pretender, which, you know, public defender lawyer. And he looks like, you know, like Steve Carell or something. His suit doesn't even freaking match. And he's telling me, like, A, they either want to send you to prison or they want to uh, put you on probation. I'm like, prison or probation? I was like, that's kind of a difference. Which do they want? He's like, well, they're trying to give you these felonies, these felonies. They're, they want to send you to prison. So I'm like, I'm not taking that deal. And they send you back to your cell 
if you don't want to take their deal, they'll send you back to, to jail from the court and they'll schedule a court date in another month. And then you just sit there in county jail for another month or six weeks, go back to court. They'll say, oh, now they want to send you to uh, prison for a year, uh, 18 months or whatever, instead of two years. Uh, I'm not taking that deal. And then you go back to jail and you sit there for another month or six weeks and they just wear you down and wear you down and wear you down and wear you down until finally you get a deal you can accept and you're like all right finally after six months of going back and forth to court and they wake you up at 3 a.m you sit on the concrete for like six hours the bus takes you you're shackled to like a murderer a lot of times i was shackled to murderers several times people who were there for life fighting other charges this and that who already got sentenced to life, then they had other charges they were fighting. I'm shackled literally next to them and going back and forth to court. Van Nuys Court, what it, CCB, I think it was called, which was downtown L.A., whatever it was, and uh, tell you take a deal. And that's the game they play. And then later on, I got busted in a raid in L.A., cop and heroin, and... Uh, I went to, I got arrested. I had warrants for my arrest. Some undercovers busted me. They were sitting on a drug dealer's phone and just busting everybody buying heroin. They ended up taking me to jail. They're like, oh, we'll let you go. We're just going to run your name, whatever, since you weren't, you know, my boy in the in the driver's seat was the one buying the heroin. I was just with him. I mean, he was buying it for both of us, but he was the one doing the buy. They're like, we'll just let you go, da 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 Freaking, they're like, we'll just run your name first. I had warrants. They're like, oh, we're keeping you. I ended up going in front of this judge, Judge Horowitz, in downtown L.A. County. Uh, downtown, yeah, downtown L.A. court. I had already, I had already been on uh, felony probation. I violated that by picking up this other drug case. Boom. He said, we're, we're sending him to prison. The lawyer came to me. He was like, hey, man, this Judge Horowitz, he said he was sending you to prison. There is no not going to be any uh, freaking deals with this. They're not going to they're not going to change it. This and that. I'm like, OK, let's go to prison. I was not going to go back and forth to to jail and L.A. County and play the whole game because I knew from being around the system long enough that I was due to go to prison. I knew there was no getting out of this one. I knew I violated felony probation, drug sales, felony probation by picking up another drug sales, another drug charge, uh, felony too. And, uh, I had warrants out for it regardless. I said, let's go to prison. So I'm sitting in LA County jail, just excited to go to prison because the living conditions, I can't even really describe, I can't even exaggerate enough just how terrible it is. Both county jail and prison, the stakes are high. You get in trouble with people, you get in riots. I mean, you can get killed in either one. You get stabbed in either one. You can get, there's weapons in either one. Prison, there's more access to things. It's more serious. There's a yard. There's more things that go around. There's more things in there. There's just more access overall to dangerous things. But it doesn't matter. When you're dealing with crazy men, crazy people, it doesn't really matter what there's access to. And when things pop off, it's serious. So both of them are serious, L.A. County Jail and prison. They both have the same amount of politics. They're both freaking nuts. I would say more things happen in prison, probably. I mean, you're dealing with probably a larger um, fraction. I don't know what's the proportion. I, I don't of violent people per, per people. So now, I guess before I go on, the way they're doing it now in freaking from what I heard, uh, Rob from LA, he told me now the prisons are so full in California 
that you're doing your prison time in county jail. The only way to actually go to prison is to do a violent offense. Um, so now, if you even if you have felonies, whatever drug felonies, where I, I went to prison, now you're doing that time in county jail. So you could do like seven years in county jail, which sounds like absolute just torture. If you know how bad county jail is, because the the positive was you used to be able to go to prison and at least do your time there and be outside all day on the yard. There were a few yards like in Wayside. There's a yard in L.A. County Jail. Like it's kind of an indoor outdoor thing. It's not like a real yard, you know, with basketball courts and pull up bars and all this and that. It was just kind of a little outdoor area. But uh in prison, you can be outside all day. You're in the yard. You're doing this and that. So now you do your count. Unless you have a violent felony, you do your prison time in county jail. The states are paying county jail in California to do your prison time there, which is nuts. So I guess apparently what people are doing is they're getting sentenced to uh, their prison time in county jail, and then they're attacking cops. So they then they can go to prison and do their time in prison. So they're just like punching cops in the face and doing this and and going nuts. So they can end up going to a, a prison, a real prison yard. Um, I guess that's just how crazy it is right now. Um, so, yeah. So I just remember, man, like when you're freaking when you go and you transition from county jail to prison, the bus picks you up. Finally, after two months, they picked me up. Man, I was so happy to go because unlike in Michigan, where you go to freaking, uh, where you go to jail, where you go to prison, and then I think you go in front of a parole board, and they decide if you're going to get out. In California, the day you walk in the door in prison, they hand you a piece of paper, and you know your date you're getting out. You know you're outdated. If you're doing two years... They hand you a piece of paper with the date that you're you're walking out the door. Obviously, that could change if you catch cases in there and you know things happen. But if you if if all goes well, you're going to get out on that freaking date. So then your time starts. So that's a really nice. <laughs> that's why you want to get to prison. So your time's starting right then, and you know your exact date you're getting out, and the clock starts. So. You know, when you finally, I was on the bus, man, I remember it was the worst piss that I've had to take in my whole freaking life. The bus came, picked us up from L.A. County Jail, dropped us off at one prison. There's there's uh, prison guards, COs with guns in the back of the bus. You don't want to mess around on the bus. There used to be bathrooms on the bus. This one freaking bus happened to have broken bathrooms. So I had to, I had to take a piss. I'll never forget that piss for the rest of my life, man. Because once I finally got to prison, the best one I've ever had in my life, man. I'll never forget it. And um, I just remember, man, like they put me in a one man cell when I first got to prison in reception, and it was the best feeling. I went from a mattress this thick to like a real freaking mattress in a cell with a light switch. And I was so comfortable. And I remember getting my first meal there. It was like breakfast or something. And they had like pancakes and freaking, it was like rehab food, dude. Like it was like good food. I was like, man, this is freaking bomb. And there were burgers and pizza and freaking all sorts of stuff, man. And I was like, you could go to this store and the the options were just, and man, the food was like real food there, you know, state food versus county food. And I was like, man, it's just such a luxury after you used to being locked up in LA County Jail, which is the worst of the worst. And, um, you know, you have your, you could have your own TV in prison where it's hooked up to a satellite and you could watch a hundred channels, man. Uh, whatever it is, movies. They have movie night. They used to wheel in a TV, 
and show you new movies, new movies, like new, new movies. And um, it's just such a more comfortable environment. And the cops there weren't disrespectful like that because they couldn't be, man. I mean, there are a few clowns, obviously, COs that can be disrespectful. But most of them are super respectful because they're not dealing with people who mess around. You you go to prison and you're dealing with people who are spending their life there. They have nothing to lose, man. So there's a certain level of respect from the cops. They can't just toss up pictures of your family and your cell and stuff. There's a certain level of respect. I mean, I remember you just, people were just sitting on their bed, man. I was one of them just smoking weed like you were at home, talking on a cell phone in prison, girls texting you naked pictures of themselves and this and that and just uh, shooting the stuff and uh, everything was all, it was like... uh, just such a different vibe than than county no one was worried about the car you just smoke weed in there and you know i never got high on other drugs or anything because i was schooled by some ogs and i just really wanted to get sober always deep down in my heart i did but the difference between county jail and state prison is just a world of difference man and um it's just a much more livable comfortable a lot of amenities. You can wear uh, street clothes in there that you could order from a catalog. You could have, I mean, back when I was there, CD players, which is what they made, uh, you know, uh, tattoo guns out of the motor. You look around all day and people are just getting tattooed and stuff. And uh, just a zillion activities, basketball, uh, people are doing art, they're making the Mexicans are making purses out of chip bags. I mean, beautiful thing. They're just endless. You know, you could have a job in there. I mean, you're supposed to have a job in there. You're making, you know, not real money, but like some money that goes on your books or whatever. And uh, it's just a, a much different environment, you know, and they got to make it semi-comfortable i mean it can be real uncomfortable i'm sure if you if you get in trouble and they send you to like solitary confinement or you're like a nut job and you go to the the shoe or whatever that you know the solitary housing unit or you know those kind of places but i was just there you know i mean the people there were doing freeway duty the real minimum security i wasn't one of them but they were doing i wasn't like real minimum security because i was from uh Michigan so I was kind of a flight risk they didn't I didn't have a California ID or anything so I wasn't the lowest security I was kind of in the middle there they saw me as a flight risk so I didn't get the you know some of them were on the freeway all day and people would drop stuff off on the freeway because they knew where they were going the next day cell phones all sorts of stuff that they'd bring back in you know through their whatever and uh it was just like Dude, it was a trip being in prison and just seeing what went on in there. But when things are serious, dude, things are serious. And when you feel tension, you feel it in the air. When there's two races and they're beefing and you're one of them, one of the races, and you feel like things are about to pop off, you literally feel it in the air. There is a very odd feeling, very, very freaking eerie, weird, scary feeling where you are ready for war at all times. So don't get it twisted thinking that prison just because it's got all these comfortable amenities like uh, satellite TV and all this stuff that makes it more livable. It's freaking nuts. And... uh anything goes down you want to put in work they'll keep you busy all freaking day putting in work there you do not have to worry you want to prove yourself and be a big shot in prison they'll keep you real active in there they'll earn those tattoos and um so man just thinking about where i came from is freaking insane because i never never thought that i would end up going to prison man with all the dirt that i did and all i thought 
can't be me, man. You, I used to hear about people who went to prison. I'm like, that's crazy, prison. Like, you imagine going away for years of your life, man? And then it was me. I did it, man. And so if you do dirt, if you do drugs, if you sell dope, if you live that life, I'm telling you, man, that's freaking right there for you. You get caught up, real easy to go. And uh, once you're in the system, man, you know, I got out. I was on parole. By the grace of God, I got off parole without violating parole. And I have stories about my, my parole officer coming to my house and my apartment in Santa Monica sitting there with me and meet him waiting there while I drug tested and he had to come up with an excuse on why I was dirty and I had a cool parole off. My first one was named Mr. Word. He said, uh, my name is Mr. Word and I'm a man of it. That one, that guy was not so cool. But then I had another one after I got transferred to a different guy and, uh, man, he was cool as heck. He was really nice. And I told him one day that I was dirty and I told him I had some painkillers from my doctor and uh, whatever and he bought the story even though it was heroin and it, he's like just be clean in a month and uh i never violated man i got off parole i got arrested the day after i got off parole the day after literally the day after that was crazy so uh <laughs> i got caught cases right after so Hey, man, I just want to put some light on the difference between uh, county jail and state prison and um, maybe some things you didn't know about. So that's what I got, man. God bless all of you. I love you all. Let's get this. Is it worth it? It's worth it because it brought me to where I am today to connect with you. And just thinking about where I came from, man, just thought I'd put a little video out there. So love you all, man. God bless you. I'm out.